Hello everyone, this is Will. Thank you guys for joining me real quick for a fun little video I think you would really enjoy. When you are going on the web, a lot of times websites in Safari will not work because of how it's built. So a lot of times you'll have to use Chrome or Firefox in order to do a certain feature. So right now I'm using Snapchat as a perfect example because when you go to snapchat.com and you try to log in with their web version, you're gonna get this notice right here that says browser is not supported. Snapchat for web only supports the latest version of Chrome and Edge on computers at this time. So what if you really, really like Safari and you'll probably see a bunch of sites like this where you can't use Safari because Chrome or Firefox or have the necessary components that right now Safari doesn't have. Well, I'm gonna tell you that you can do this. So I'm gonna show you a fun little feature in Safari that allows you to go to websites that perhaps Safari is not compatible for, but you can change what's called the user agent, which then allows you to access these sites. So I'm gonna to go to Safari, we're gonna to go to settings, and in the advanced section, which I've already clicked on because obviously I was testing this, is something called Show Develop Menu in Menu Bar. And when I click this, you'll see on the menu bar, a new feature is added called Develop. I'm gonna close this, and now you're gonna see this. Now, this is very technical, and Develop is, a, is something you don't necessarily are gonna use all the time, but the concept of this is developers. If you are developing a website or developing something that you want to disable certain things like disable images, disable styles, disable. so it's very, very technical in there. But the main thing we're, we're working on is a section called user agent. And it's automatically, as you see, it's checked off as automatically chosen. But look, I have options here. This includes the iPad versions, the iPhone versions. So like if there's like an iPhone version of the site, you can pump that up but you also have Microsoft Edge, Chrome, and Firefox. Uh, you could do the Windows version of Edge, the Windows version of Chrome too. So it's really neat that you can actually change the overall structure of Safari using a different one. So I'm gonna use Chrome, so that is a compatible version. So I'm gonna choose Chrome, the site refreshes, and look at that, I can sign in to Snapchat now. So you can now use any sites that are may not say you're allowed to do it or the browser is unsupported and you can go up to develop it'll all be up here permanently user agent and you can change it to whatever version that you need to use so i hope this was a little helpful for you guys and uh, it's a quick video i just wanted to show you that you can go on any website on safari as long as you change the user agent setting all right, guys, thank you very much for joining me for this quick video. I hope this was helpful for everybody, and we'll see you on the next training. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.